Welcome to round number two. We are on the play here, and our hand is, uh, it's good. I like it. We've got green mana for our loam engine. We've got two lands. We've got an enabler. We've got a dredger. That's, that's everything we want. Ooh, opponent's already down to four. A lot of mulligans today on, on both sides of the table so far. At least in game ones. So end of our opponent's second main. We'll uh, sack this neonate to discard the Stinkwe Dimp and dredge it. Looks like a mirror. Yep. Well, we're on the play and we got a reasonable hand. We don't have a cathartic though, so we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a lot how uh, how the dredges go too, unfortunately. Not a terrible start for us. Um, this is another spot where I can go max greed, and I think I'm just supposed to. I got two dredgers in there, so let's go ahead and discard this blood gas to dredge this thug. Hit another Meba. No looting or anything like that, though, unfortunately. If we had a, a looting instead of the second uh, neonate, that might have been. I mean, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have got to take our turn the same way, but we definitely would have put a lot more uh, <laughs> a lot more on the table. So opponent, uh, opponent's dredge was fine, but not exciting. Unfortunately, it looks like they have a cathartic. Yeah, that's going to be rough. Yeah, all right, we're in trouble. <laughs> Narcomy, but double, double prize amalgam was, was better. But they got to flip over a lot more cards, so it makes sense. Uh... Get a... Dark Blast. Unfortunately, I also have not hit Loam yet, and we're on the Triple triple Gorge uh, next turn. If they have a third land, they'll be able to flashback looting and put even more on the table, and I can't cast any of these things. I'm still going to get this Blood Gas into play. Uh, I'm going to attack first. I guess leave back these Mebas, though. Well, I'm not going to block yet, am I? I guess not. I guess I need to close this game out because my opponent's going to be able to turn more, more over. I wonder if I don't play this land yet to not tell my opponent about this blood ghast. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not, I don't, I guess I definitely don't, right? Because they have haste. Uh, I guess I'm dredging a salvage though, so it doesn't matter, right? I have no other thing to dredge. I guess I'll just hold it. But it also has a haunted dead we need to remember. Dredged into amoeba. Wait, where's the trigger? What happened here? Did it just shift around and it wasn't actually dredged into? I guess not. Must have just shifted around. That must. Oh, that's that's got to be the Miba that. Okay, they dredged these three. This is the Miba that traded. Got it. Got it. Got it. There's only one in the yard, so that makes sense. And they dredged a loom. So this turn they're probably just dead if they don't have the land for flashback faithless looting. They could loom though. Yeah, I mean. I don't know how I feel about this play, right? Like, it sets up a little better for the future turns, but I think, like, you know, there's something to be said for being more aggressive right now. No, no, uh, conf uh, conflict rate for either of us. 
So, I mean, I definitely get through damage if I play the salvage and attack with both blood guests, plus then I have another land to get them back later. But if my amalgam dies, um, it's going to take some time to get that back. I think it's still worth the extra damage. Plus, I'm going to play this anyway, right? Like, I want to be able to cast these. Interesting. Yeah. I think they're supposed to block this. Like, these I get back whenever I want with haste, and they take more damage there. Maybe they think I just don't have access to another land. I guess that's not unreasonable. I do have to take a natural draw this turn, though. Mismatching Narc Amoebas. At least they have some future sight ones, but I obviously have the the worst ones in both cases, actually. This will be a fine fine target for my, my blast. I guess, um, speaking of that, I guess that means we want to upkeep this blast, yeah, which we probably wanted to do any... Whoops, that's the wrong one. Probably wanted to do anyway, but now we definitely do. I kind of like our spot. Uh, obviously, there's a lot we can hit, too, to be in an even better spot off of the stretch three, but it's only three cards, so. Sure. Opponent shocked there. I mean, they are going to have this haunted dead, I guess. For another blocker. And they just put a thug into play for another blocker. Okay, so maybe maybe not in a great spot. But let's still Dark Blast this Meeba and see what happens. Dredge this. Uh, tap land, Faithless Looting shenanigans. Um... Do I attack with the Narc Amoeba knowing full well that it's going to trade? Definitely don't think I'm interested in attacking with my Ground Pounders now. I mean, they only have two blockers right now. They'll have three. I mean, I get in for like two damage that way. At this point, I should probably just focus on not dying. I guess I would die in the crackback, right? Let's say I let's say I play the land and attack, right? They get haunted dead, block like amalgam with spirit. Amalgam on bloodgast, thug on bloodgast. They take one and then attack me for a minimum of two, four, six, nine. 12, 14. Yeah, so that's just flat not an option. I still want to play this. I still want to put these blood guests in. Um, so I have more mana to work with next turn. Don't see a purpose to attacking with anything other than maybe the Narc Amoeba, which isn't worth it because they'll just get to trade with their spirit anyway so yeah i guess i guess now i just have to play defense i feel like i'm missing something hmm. yeah i guess now i just have to play defense they're gonna return the haunted dead pitching stinkies probably dredge stinky here Hit Narc Amoeba and Conflagrate. Yeah, so we're going to be hard-pressed to win this game for sure. Man, this has been a rough, uh, a rough start to our league. Definitely the, the toughest league we've had, I've had with Dredge thus far, although I've only played like five or so. 
Uh, I'm just dead, right? I mean, I, let's let's start by blocking the things with the most power, and I'm just dead. Two, four, six, uh, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's that's exactsies. Feels good. All right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Bummer. I mean, my opponent dredged ten more cards than me, so it makes sense that they would find these things when I would not find these things. All right. To the sideboard. Surgicals. I don't think Pharaoh really does anything. Uh, driven to Despair. I mean, Menace. But don't really think it does anything. It's just not really a lot that matters in my board for the mirror. <sighs> Driven to despair. I mean, it makes the Narcomoebus bad blockers, which can be relevant, but you, of you often just have Conflagrate to clear them away as well. Uh, brutality just doesn't matter. Pharaoh, I still think, just not relevant. Just not relevant. Um... Yeah, axes don't matter. Start to finish doesn't matter. Dark Blast kills Mebas. And Blood Gas. And the Spirit from Haunted Dead? I mean, not very excited about that. If my opponent had random other graveyard hate other than Surgical, what would it be? It could be Ley Lines. Um. Could be like Ravenous Trap. I've ever seen that recently, but that is sort of comparable to, to Surgical and that there's really nothing I'm going to do about it. I mean, I could bring in Brutality if I find Surgical be the most likely, but it's so bad otherwise that I don't think that's correct, right? So I feel like that puts us on like cut these for those and just try to be as proactive as possible, especially on the play. And then just have a little bit of a little bit of interaction if we're fortunate enough to draw it. Haunted Dead might not be great here. But I don't think any of these. Yeah, you know what? We're just doing this. We're on the play here. Confluence Confluence is a little bit concerning in this sort of aggressive mirror, but Looting into Thug Loam is reasonable. I guess it might even be. No, probably not. I mean, this hand, I don't know. Like, this hand isn't like a huge payoff or anything. I, I think I'm still going to keep. Not only is it functional, but it's like good. It's just not outstanding. Yeah, okay. We lost. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. There's been a lot of ley lines. Uh, in play against us today. So we didn't bring in the one of Revelry, which I guess wouldn't have mattered since they hit two ley lines. So yeah. All right. Fair enough. I mean, I could hard cast guys. Should we, should we try to, maybe they kept a really bad one with ley lines. All right. Sure. Whatever. Um, I guess these. This is, uh, okay, good, yeah. So they kept a, uh, just an actual no lander. Well, we have a chance. Blue, black, any color. I guess maybe I should have played the other, uh, the other thing, the other mana confluence. Instead of gemstone mine. All right. Well, they get to naturally discard now. Oh, it's just a prize amalgam though. Well, that's good. We drew another creature. Also good. Just like cast these these anemic guys and see if we can get there. In the dredge mirror.
See if they discard like a dredger here. Bloodgast, sure. <laughs> it's not bad, I guess. Um, we uh, we're looking pretty good for this game. And I almost conceded. I almost conceded. Out of uh, out of uh, almost tilt conceded. That would have been that would have been loose. Obviously. Alright. Deal. We drew pretty well that game, though, to draw that amalgam. To be able to cast it on time made a big difference. Uh, I guess I'm putting in Revelry. So if my opponent only finds one ley line, I have an answer. Um... Take out Haunted Dead. Take out a Conflagrate. Take the Haunted Dead doesn't really matter. I don't know. I guess it's more more things to hard cast if we're in a similar game, but eh. So that's a game we probably don't lose, or excuse me, that's a game we probably don't win if we're playing a fetch mana base. Um, I guess that's something to keep in mind. This hand does not beat hate uh, without hard casting our guys and hoping, but uh, it's very good otherwise, so yeah. I do not think we're favored <laughs> with our opponent on ley lines and us on surgical. That's, uh, that's concerning, shall we say. All right, no ley line. Opponents down to five, no ley line. That feels that feels okay. I mean, their hand was definitely a keep, right? Otherwise, they're they mulligan aggressively for ley line, so their hand's probably reasonable. But um, we're still happy about that, obviously. So end of my second main, they might. Oh, they might need to draw some lands, I guess. Well, that's good for us. They're gonna get in for one. We obviously have uh, no ability to block since both of these guys have menace. Opponent's passing. All right. I'm surprised they wouldn't sack this to try and find a land. But um, I wonder if I'm supposed to discard Blood Guest. No, I think I'm supposed to dredge this loom. It's like one turn later for me to get the Blood Guest in play. But I'm hoping to hit more dredgers and not have to take any natural draws. Cool. It's just an Archimeba. There's looms. Salvage. Just all the looms. I think gemstone mine here rather than mana confluence, but it's close. Uh, and then Cathartic, Pitch, Loam, Ghast. So we would have got Blood Ghast in play this turn if we had taken a natural draw. But I still like this quite a bit better. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's an Amalgam in there now, but... And a Conflagrate and a Looting, but not a lot of consequence. Unfortunately, these uh, this Narcomy and that amalgam did not line up, but we do still have a thug to dredge here. Opponent's still just taking draws, so that's that's good for us. Are they gonna dredge this? Huh? Oh, they have a gnaw as well. Yeesh. And they had a second land. So they must have drawn a second land this turn. That explains why they were interested in dredging that. Okay. Sure. I thought that they were just going off the rails. All right. They cast that loam to return Foothills, Foothills. Don't need this right now. Thug is a fine, a fine dredge here. Hit Meba. It's going to bring in Amalgam, Amalgam. Uh, we just want to flashback looting, right? I mean, I have Thug, Loam. 
I guess playing the land first is sort of a bummer, but it's really not a big deal since I have looms and such. Let's uh, let's always yield to these shenanigans. Dredge this, another blood ghast, another amalgam. Dredge this. Pitch these. Get you for one. So we've not been particularly explosive here, but now we just got a bunch of amalgams. We're gonna get another amalgam in our opponent's end step. Pretty fortunate, I think, for us to be in the position that we're in in this game. With the way our opponent's deck is constructed. This mirror is kind of, uh, kind of unpleasant. Like, there's some play to it, obviously, just like there are in any other, any mirrors, but... All right, hard cast the amoeba. Dredge this. So we want to loam conflagrate here. Okay, yeah. We we're gonna conflagrate this in their face. Get get blood ghasts and have super super lethal. Plenty plenty of damage there. Um. So yeah, interesting interesting match. I'm glad I did not tilt concede game two as I almost. Almost did, um, but I'm glad we didn't. Either way, I will see you in the next round in just a moment.